what's up guys welcome back to another video um i want to um talk about some important things to you guys and want to discuss some things that actually matter so um without further ado let's go ahead and dive into it guys um hope you're having a good day and all that good stuff man um <clears throat> all right so first thing i want to talk about was uh self-discipline implemented with respect for yourself allows to begin to realize it's not anything outside of you that brings what would define as good into reality okay so it's not anything outside of you that allows you to begin to recognize the good in reality guys so you know you know make sure you're focus, focusing on that make sure you realize that you know like you know life is you know what i mean life is what you perceive of it man you're you're the creator of your re current reality guys so make sure you um Make sure you're on that, you know what I mean? Make sure you yeah, got that knowledge. Um, but to continue, um, brings you what you would define as good into reality. It's what you surround yourself with, which will mold the way you perceive reality. And through the mold is what you define as good or bad through the regular surround. And the, you know, what you regularly surround yourself with. So make sure you're not surrounding yourself with things that don't uh serve yourself man don't don't surround yourself with things that don't um have meaning in your life like that you that you your vision that if, if it sees meaning in it go for it but if you don't if you don't have a a good perception on life like if you're always you know seeing things as if it were to have a you know the worst outcome you know things that have a low vibration that make you vibrate at a low rate and make you feel as if life you don't you know you just want to give up right you know what i mean there's just no point if you don't see the, the path and the reason it was sent there because you're either meant to learn or win from it guys so don't don't stress it you're not you're either gonna win or learn don't don't stop associating lose with a a like a death you know what i mean losing is, is not a fun thing but don't don't perceive it that way it's not really like that so because it's the universe trying to tell you that it's it's that life isn't really based off what you perceive it as so when you're angry it's almost like a play perceive it as a play it's the universe expressing it's trying to express itself in some odd you know you know dense form like ain't you know angry think about it it's almost the same as like on the tv shows you see everybody you know they start freaking out they're all jumping around and you know what i mean so don't stress or anything like that you know you can't you can't judge anything off the way that you feel that an impulse go through your body for if your adrenaline rushes you you believe you're about to fight but sometimes that's not the truth it's just something that happened to move fast or something like that so understand that your brain is not you your thoughts are not you what you tell yourself in the negative form is it's just only going to affect you is what i want to get it with the point across so disciplining yourself by constantly reminding yourself that nobody or excuse me nothing you think in your head has to do with i the infinite creator and all of us has to do with the possible representation or ability i can obtain to express itself within duality in the emotional physical realm Okay, so as the brain has no identity, it can only associate things I associate itself, which would be in your surroundings. So understand that this, you know, on, it's only I has the the power to tell yourself that you are doing bad. You are not doing bad if you are. You know, maybe you're trying to take a run, you know, ah, oh, yeah, just at the beginning of this, no point in doing this, right? But now that, you know, if you keep going, you might be the next professional runner just because you just realized that you, you saw the situation not only with your eyes, but with your brain, the eye of 
the third, you know, the third eye with the pineal gland. So you understood the situation. You you saw the benefit that it can be within the benefit of yourself. Is what I mean by so. Um, it's okay to be selfish, but don't be greedy. Is the point? You know what I mean? Don't be. Don't be greedy, don't go out here taking, you know what I mean? Because it's so too easy to just live life and get it, you know what I mean? Like, that's how it is, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a wave. Um, don't confuse your ideas of what you think reality is and what it really is. Your surroundings isn't what's around you, but what you taken to be yours and projected on everything else because only you can identify what you have created for yourself okay so you can you're the only person that can say hey i'm you know i'm the only cute you know if i'm at fault i'm the only one at fault in this reality there's nothing else besides i you know looking out these eyes which would but don't let your eyes lie to you at the same time, you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, it's, it's not the self that helps you change your perception, but it's the act of you willfully changing your thought patterns of perceiving your own way of thinking and feeling instead of following someone else's beliefs of reality and you in confusion or Make yourself not perceive a, a good reality and be positive, you know. Um, it's not the self-discipline that helps change your perception of reality, but it's the act of willing to change your thought patterns and perceive in your own way of thinking or feeling, doing, instead of following someone else's beliefs or reality that in you and confusion or giving up you know what I mean so yeah <laughs> but uh so this one is a great tool derived from the force of confidence that you can create the belief that I is capable of executing the task that I is capable of because anyone can do anything if they put their mind to it that's uh, so let's just start implementing activities that increase your <clears throat> that increase yourself to uh, discipline starts by creating a calm balance in your life that keeps you accepting to new things and able you to attach to the things in your reality keeping a constant flow like focus breathing and clearing your mind while staying in the moment so you know you don't wanna you know what I mean so that's what I'm gonna do so it's um so this one can also be uh excuse me conf uh formed in by being accepting to all things that I has done and failed doing it, realize that you didn't fail and didn't need to learn and need, just needed to learn the outcome if like it was a bad situation, you know what I mean? But it's, you know, that you perceive that, you know what I mean? But like really shouldn't be focusing on the past, only the past did not. You have to focus on the moment and forward, but don't dwell on the future because it's just like the past. I've done that. I always fall into the to the future, the past. You know, it always gets you caught up in and you know caught in the box that you can't really get out of because you want to be all these things, but in reality, you just it just takes execution and patience. And you realize that it's just all this is an asset. You just need to go within yourself to get this awesome. And revenge is a tool you can use to be more efficient about the control you have over yourself, the outside effects, the inside 
and how the inside affects the outside, what energy you give out, and frequency you radiate through your chakras. Um, your chakras, like, really, you know, really sacred. <laughs> Man, all those good chakras. Um, find reasons why you should love yourself despite any um, false ideas or images you already made of yourself because you are um, the most important source in your being and inside of your reality because without the awareness within you, you couldn't create anything without what um, you gain conscious of, you know. <laughs> So really, you know, it's all about your consciousness, you want to be aware about things, you know what I mean? Can't be, <laughs> don't let yourself stop me, don't stay focused on the moment because the universe always has things bringing to you, you know what I mean? Even if you just, like, go out and see a car like that, you know, got brought to you by somebody, it's like, not some you see like the whole thing you gotta really think i know it sounds uh, you know uncomfortable to some of you guys but that if you you should um really look into uh like going within yourself and realizing that it's all the um universe that can bring you it brings you all these things that you just need to focus on and don't, you know, get caught up on. So, pointing, pointing out, um, excuse me, pointing out things of your surroundings that don't serve you anymore, increase your awareness and.